four. Explorer, this is Kowalski confirming visual contact with debris. Debris is from a BSE sat. Repeat, I have a record. Dr. Stone requesting faster transport. We have to go, we have to go, go, go. We want to do a film that takes place in space in which all the debris that happens, all the, all the adversities are just nothing but a metaphor of the adversities that we all have in our everyday life. Man down! Man down! First reason you ever want to make a film if you're an actor is that the script is very good and the director is very good. I love the screenplay, and it also happens to have been written by Alfonso Cuaron and his son. And I think that Alfonso is one of the most interesting, and I think he's one of the most talented directors in the game. Ah! Astronaut is off structure, Dr. Stone is off structure. This is such a profoundly beautiful experience that he gives you on such a frightening level in terms of the action sequences and, and what you do get that's, that's thrilling. And then it has people's lives and their stories unfolding before you that you don't see coming and you don't see or expect them to end the way that they do or begin the way they do. You're gonna hit hard, grab a hold of anything you can. Alfonso's vision was incredible and very specific and frankly evolved with the technology but it meant inventing things. We built these robots, we developed these programs specifically for this film. This sort of filmmaking had never been done before. This required a certain kind of discipline because it, you've had to preset these shots, but not just because it's 3D, but because of all of the elements that are in place so that everything has been preset so far in advance that you can't really change anything. So you have to make it look very natural, even though it's something that was planned six months earlier. So there was a very different discipline, and it was fun working with him with that. Beautiful, don't you think? What? The sunrise. Terrific. This is a grown-up film for grown-ups about, um, about a lot of subject matters by a by an exquisite filmmaker with a, with a wonderful actress at its helm. And that's, that's sort of the fun part to talk about. Give me five. From the very beginning to when things shatter and explode and fall apart to the journey gives you an outlook on space, almost as though you're the voyeur of what's happening in space and the earth below that. So it's almost a three-tier point of view of something that almost looks alive. Dr. Stone. This is almost as if you put a virtual reality helmet and you're sent into space into this very scary adventure. Houston, this is mission specialist Ryan Stone. I am off structure and I'm drifting. Do you copy?